And we're back, getting ready for the second half here. <clears throat> Norristown's gonna kick the ball off to Soderton to begin the second half. And I think Clinton Colley's still trying to find a date for tomorrow night's big dance. He's uh, not in the booth. So here's the kickoff. Taken at the 10. Breaks a couple tackles, brought down at about the 27 yard line. So Sowerton's gonna start off from about the 27 yard line. Uh, let's see if they stick with their game plan in the first half of, of passing. Since the running game's not, can't really get anything started. There he is. Any luck getting a date for tomorrow night? Nah, nah, nah. I was down there covering the homecoming king and queen. Okay. Peter Dime, it's new KO Yay Filet. Hand off up the middle. Stop. Gaining about one. Jack Tillman carried about one. Down to the 25 yard line. That's actually the 30 yard line. There we go. Hands reverse, gets down to the 40 yard line. Gain of about 10. Got it up for the first down. Good thing somebody picked it up as, as fast as they did. If not, he'd have been gone for the yards. So they pick up the first down. What was that line? There's a random ball? Huh? You know who ran that ball? I gotta start paying attention. <laughs> sorry, I gotta start paying attention. Down to the 40. And in the backfield, very quick. Number seven. Jack Tillman wrapped up quickly. Looks like that's their main back. He's not that good. But then again, I said the same thing about the William Tennis running back. And, yeah. So a loss of four on the, on the play. Back down to the 36 yard line. 37. Roll, pass, roll out. Throw it behind him, incomplete. Intended for number seven, Jack Tillman. North Channel just came out of the locker room. I think they're fired up because of the big 95-yard touchdown kick return by Antoine Hall. Yeah, it was highlighted. I highlighted the first half. Cool. A little chilly up here. Cool. That's what I'm talking about. This was what it was all about. Josh back, right, wide open across the middle. He picks up the first down. That's number 82 on the pickup. From Josh and Sogna, number five. Pick up a 14, just enough for the first down. That's Dolan O'Neill, got enough for the first down down to midfield at the 49 yard line. There's a handoff upside in the middle. <clears throat> there it is. Antoine Hall making uh, a big stop on defense. Six or seven yard pickup. Running number 28, Steve Hose Hosell. So that was a pickup about seven. Actually, generous spot. They Got on the forward progress and pick up a nine, so it's gonna be second and one from the 41. 
There's 39 up the middle, gets enough for a first down. Still going. Down about the 36 or 37. From a 39, Matt Freed, junior halfback, five for 10, 181 pounds on the, on the carry. I know one thing, North needs to make a stop here now. It's gonna be first and 10. Yeah, it'd be good to get a stop here. Stop on this sequence of downs right here. In motion by Matt Freed, number 39. Passes, they got him, they're, they're going down. Sacked him. Jeremiah Pierce him at the, the 45 yard line. Big loss there. Good defensive play by Jeremiah Pierce. I call him Mon X. He doesn't want, he doesn't like his last name. He wants X. So that's gonna be. So big loss, loss of 11. Loss of 11 on the play. Second and 21, right up the middle again. There's that inside half handoff, spinning and Getting down close to the first down. Big play by number seven, Jack Tillman. Good pickup of yardage. So that was about a 20 yard pickup there. He's about a See 22 yards on the play. They gave him a first down. So first and 10 from the 20, 26 yard line. No wide out split, handoff. Goes number three, he's still fighting. It's number three, Justin Cramacaro, Cramacurno. I know you guys are probably wondering why I'm, why I'm so quiet. Yeah, they're really utilizing that wing T offense now that they run. The uh, coming out, running the ball strong in the second half, which is what I kind of thought they would do first half. Big tackle from behind by number nine, Josh, Josh James. James. <laughs> So running play gets down to the 17-yard line. Pick up about four on the play. It's going to be third and a short one here. No wide outs. Inside keeper. Inside, that's that inside handoff again. That was number seven again, Jack Tillman. It's number seven, Tillman. Down to the 10-yard line. Pick up a seven. Enough for a first down. Comes out of handoff again up the middle, number 39, Matt Freed, down to the five. That handoff is killing him. Got some real big blockers up front for the uh, Satterton Indians. Are they in Bucks County? Yes, they are, right on the border. Right on the borderline? I believe so. So I guess, they, like you said, they're growing big out there? Yep. Right. So it's going to be second and goal from the five. Handoff goes into number seven, Matt Tillman for the touchdown. The thing is, Northtown can't get discouraged. Only thing is, the offense got to be ready to take the field and give the crowd what they've been wanting. Hmm. 
So Sarton putting together a nice drive. Blocks. No, 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 blocks, blocks the it. point. I mean, still going. Blocks the extra point. Blocks that extra point. Big play by Norristown. Real big play. Can't tell. So with the extra point, blocked. Uh, Sarton takes the lead, 26 to 20, with four minutes and 45 seconds. It was a good drive for Sarton. Way, way to come out and start out that second half nice and strong. They had 14 plays there. Yeah. They ran the ball out of the 14 times. They ran the ball 11 times. They passed three times. So it looks like they're getting back on the, the game plan of, uh, of running the ball. Shows tells you how good their running game or their, probably their passing game is. They don't have any faith in it. Yeah, I mean, they're well over their average now. They average, I think it was 41, 41, uh, 41 yards a game. They are at my, my, my unofficial stats have 147 for the first half. So they doubled that in one half. But it looks like they're going back to the running game. Oh. So let's see if Norristown can match it coming out of the blocks here in the second half. I see a lot more people here tonight there, Clinton. Yeah, yeah it's homecoming. Everybody wants to be here. It's a capacity crowd. Yes, it is. We're getting more turnouts than actually than the Expos game. <laughs> Big kick on the ground. Not much of a kick there. That's Jay Starks. Oh, he slips up. Loses his footing at the 30-yard line. So let's see, Norristown coming out. Starting up from 30. Heading from right to left. All right, just four minutes, 41 seconds left in the third quarter. Let's see what Norristown's gonna do to see if they can, um, they can help out. They gotta be, they see if they can put some points on the board. Answer to um, Southerton. Yeah, they got Minnick and Witter split up top. Hand, Hand off, off the bird. Oh, bird drops it. Picks it up, though, but he's still going to lose. That was a nice big block. Ooh. Loses Who about seven. Big block, I saw. That's, that, that's, that's the definition of full contact. So Norristown's going to start it up from about the 24-yard line. Third and 50. It's third down to 15, ladies and gentlemen. Second down. I'm sorry, I read the, uh, set, read the clock right. I mean, read the clock wrong. Put the scoreboard wrong. Okay, so it's going to be second and 15 from the 24-yard line. Tim Witter calls it, looks like he calls a timeout. Narstown's gonna call a timeout here. So three minutes, 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Narstown still trailing 26 to 20. They're just starting to, to start up their drive, their first drive of the second half. So let's see what they can do. Right now they're announcing who won the who so Clinton, is that your 50-50? I don't get nothing. I don't win nothing. I don't even buy no raffle tickets. Mine either. What about you? Did you buy one? Nope, didn't see the guy. Here's Norristown ready for the second half. All right, second and 15. Let's see what Norristown's going to do. Play action to Bird. Nice strong throw. Ooh. Winner goes up top incomplete. Oh, man. Are you 
So it's third and still 15. All right, let's see the play. Let's see the. Let's see what's going. What's, what's, what's going on? What's, what's the play? So let's see the play. Let's see what's going to happen. Northdale needs a big play. Now they got Witter, Witter at the bottom of the screen. Minnick at the at the top. Bird out in the flat there. He's got a couple blockers in front of him. See if he can turn it up. Close to a first down. Still short. Look like he picked about up two or three yards short. Six, it's fourth down at the three. 36 yard line. So it's pick up a 12, so it's still going to be fourth and three. Looks like they're going to bring out that punt duty. So the punter coming onto the field, the first, the first drive of the second half, results in a punt. Uh, he's just trying to change the field position around a little bit. It's a high snap. Oh, high kick. Almost blocked there. Takes a Norristown roll down to the third 30. So let's see if Norristown can prevent them from scoring another touchdown here. They want to stay within distance. There's still two, two minutes and 39 seconds left in the, in the third quarter. And they're only down by a touchdown. So we're on in school today. They had a float competition, I understand. Yeah. Juniors came in second. That's the right. Seniors came in first. Yeah, seniors, class of 2005, ladies and gentlemen. I'm one of them. But I understand that they were, they were beaten in the spirit contest. I heard the juniors had a little more spirit. Yeah. I was trying to get the uh, senior class hype, but it looked the like it wasn't. came in second. It looked like it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't going to happen. Gosh, the last play result in a quarterback by the fumble, or not fumble, yeah, yeah. Same thing happened Sack. last year. The seniors, the junior, uh, when I was a junior, we won, but, you know, we was robbed by the seniors. Again, we're lost again. It's going to be a loss of 16 yards. Or six. Six, six yards, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's That'd cool. be a big loss. That's what we want. So out to the out to the 26 yard line now. We got a wide receiver split out, drops back to pass, and he's sacked again. Sacked again. That's right, North Sounds coming up big on defense, making a big plays, making sacked a down boom. at the 21. They're booing the Southerton cheerleaders. How dare they come on our side during homecoming? They had the audacity. Middle handoff goes to, looks like number seven, Tilton, or that's number three, Karinko. Kramarenko. Somebody needs to throw something at him. Oh, no throwing. All right, Jerome Kendall's in the back, waiting for the punt. Pick up a one. So here comes a punt. There he goes. Kendall gets the punt. Tackled at the 45. So Norristown's offense comes back onto the field trying to get some points on the board. Minnick and Witter at the top of the screen. But Bird gets the handoff coming down towards us. 
Nice little run for about four yards. Good play by Norristown. They need to move the chains. They need to move the chains. Yeah, I think they, they definitely hold on to it, make sure they don't turn the ball over. They're going to run the clock out. 16 seconds left in the third quarter and counting. The ball's at the 49-yard line. Looks like they're just going to let the clock run out. So, at the end of the third quarter, Syrton leads Norris down 26 to 20. All Norris County is a, um, a touchdown and an extra point, and they can win this game. That first drive of Syrton really ate up a lot of the clock. Didn't give Norristown much of a chance in the third quarter. There's only six points scored. 